Crystal Musso's life mattered. She is dearly missed by her friends, family, and her children. We now know, of course, that the government will not call an inquest into her death. But new information is coming to light from the critical incident investigation into her death, and this information is very concerning. The company contracted to transport Crystal out of province, used staff that did not have the proper training, and used vehicles that did not have the right equipment to care for ICU patients. I'll table a document that lays this out. Does the Premier agree that a team transporting ICU patients should have the necessary training and equipment to do so safely? The Honourable First Minister. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. And before I get to uh, the member's question, I just wanted to say that sometimes it's, uh, we need to remember that we need to take time to celebrate our kids. And, and last night, uh, it was a proud mom moment for me. It was a proud parent moment for both my husband and I when uh, we were at a, a hockey rink in Selkirk and Tommy and his high school hockey team were playing the St. Paul's Crusaders and they, were, they, de they uh, defeated the Westwood Warriors to become the Manitoba Provincial High School Hockey Champions. Uh, Madam Speaker, I just want to uh, congratulate Tommy, all his team members and the coach Andrew Harder uh, for their victory last night, uh, Madam Speaker. It's an exciting day for, uh, for our family and uh, just thank you for, uh, for the opportunity to say a few words about that, Madam Speaker. What I will say, uh, Madam Speaker, with respect to this, um, of course, uh, I did, uh, the, the member opposite asked these questions yesterday. The member's time has expired. 